So now I got all my wood done, and it's only for the legs. Yeah, the next step would be the exact length. So I'll saw them to length. They're all a little bit oversized, but I start by cutting one side flat at a 90 degree angle. I got one side flat, now I'll make a jig at the correct length and I cut them one by one at the, exactly the same width. I did make a few notches to connect the wood together into a leg. That's on one side, and this is on the other side. I have to cut this off, these two corners. So that's the next step. Okay, now we got a rough cut that will fit in one of the other leg parts. I'm gonna connect this uh, piece of wood to the other here. So, I'm chiseling this wood away. Then for the other, other corner, I have to do the same thing. So, first put the outline on the side, and then I copy it to the side. that has to be removed. Next step. Well, now I made this connection and it should be around here. It's a little bit thin, but it's more than okay. It will make a beautiful connection. Then by then I'll have this connection and that'll be one of my legs. I got all the pieces, uh, the four legs, ready now. 
to be uh, put together. So, start gluing them together now. Now wait half an hour and do the next one. Got my four legs. It was quite a bit of work. It's quite difficult to get all these angles right. To save a little bit of weight and give it a little bit more form, uh, I'll make a curve in this wood. So I'll take a lot of weight off of that. Um, what I did is, so I put two nails here in the corners, took a little thin strip of wood, and I calculated that I wanted to do that approximately one and three quarters of an inch inward so I'll just bend the wood at the center to what I wanted to have describe a line and now I have exactly what I want to take off I do that at the first board and then copy it to the other three to keep it uh, identical on every board. somewhat nicer leg. I'll copy it first to the four to the three other ones. What I do now first is take one of these legs, put this one on top of it, and then copy that same curve. Next step again is to cut this out first roughly and then instead of using the sander because if you do that freehand then you get different kinds of curves uh, I'll be using a router bit to copy the router from the original so that's uh, we'll see what that uh, brings okay I put the, the first one that I did at the bottom that will work as a guide and put the one I just saw roughly on top then I take my router That has a nice uh, form to it. Still uh, considering to cut off a piece here at the top as well. We'll see uh, what happens with that. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. 
Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks, guys. Done a good job.